All right. We're going to go to the bed. Why can't I do all the boards? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Why can't I? What? Why are these boards blocked? That's terrible. It didn't take too long to find the young mage, and after the bird explained what happened, the young mage agreed to fight the dragon. Why do I look bored? The young here mage used a teleport spell, and in an instance, they were back in the small village, and the battle between the dragon and the mage began. Why am I doing this board again? Why am I doing this board again? I did this board already, didn't I? Yeah, why won't it let me do... What the fuck is going on here? All right, so I don't know why they're making me do this board again. Because I did this board already. All I had to do was the last level to get the platinum. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't freeze. So I don't understand. Don't, what are you doing? There's a lot of glitches, unfortunately, with this game. A lot. And I don't... We Every single time I am playing this game, I just bump into a new glitch. And I hope the developers are looking at this because, again, someone is not checking this. And this stuff gets through. And it's like, don't you realize you released this game with all these glitches? Like, people paying... $9.99 or $12.99 or $14.99 for these games. And your games are messed up. Like, you got to fix this. You can't just... You got to patch it. You can't just leave it like that. You know? like it, You expect people to buy the Aries series. Okay. But they got to work. And they got to, like, have the Platinum. And they got to... Can't be missing levels either. You have all these other games that you put out from Aerie that... One region it works, great. The other region you forget to put a level in. And then nobody, the, the percentage, the completion percentage is off. So if there was people that had 100% and they go to play an airy game, now they're not going to have 100%. So they're going to be mad at you because their whole thing is like screwed up because your game is glitchy. 
and you you messed up the game. Like they want to be able to complete the game. They want to get the plot. That's why you you buy the game so you can get the platinum and the trophies. Don't tell me you're buying the game just to enjoyment. You're buying them to get the trophies, that the achievements. So if you have a game and it's incomplete, you need to fix it. You can't just like, oh, um, I can't fix these four games, but I'm gonna release four new airy games in a week. No, fix the games that are broken one at a time. Like, just get rid of it. Like, fix it. Don't abandon the games you put out and say, ah, that's all right. Let's just who king a reputation because every time people reach out to you. You play the, oh, we don't speak English card. We speak German. So guess what? On the Google Translator, I sent you a whole email in German. So you couldn't really say anything. You had to answer me back, obviously. But, like, don't play the game. Oh, I'm working on it. And then then after so long, you're like, oh, we don't know how to fix it because we don't have the software with PlayStation and it's all new and, you know, sorry. No, not sorry. Fix it because then you should refund every single customer. That bought that game. If they can't complete the game, because then it's an incomplete game, and they have to get a refund. You like they po- bought it with the intent of getting the trophies, and the platinum. And if they can't do that, they should all get refunds. And Sony should do that for you for them. And 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 you guys should honor, like you you failed to deliver a product you promised. So you either you spend money. And you go back and you fix those games so that way we can get the platinum, which is only fair. Or you put a thing in there that, oh, you get one feather in this board and you get the platinum. Because obviously you can't fix it or something. So you got to make it where the people can get the platinum at least. And that's only fair. And by you not doing that, then that's just not right. It's not right. I mean, all these people... You know, are your fans, and and you just you're letting them down. It's not it's not good. Totally not good. Like you're not being loyal to them. The people are loyal to you. These people are paying your salary. They're buying your games, right? Not that they exactly paying your salary, but they're buying your games, and they're the battle took three days and three nights until the dragon, exhausted from the fighting and tired of breathing fire, finally gave up, left the village, and swore to never return. This speech return. is just annoying. The village was saved, and soon after, the villagers rebuilt their beloved home and had a great feast in the honor of the young mage and his new best friend and assistant, the little bird. So why couldn't I access this before? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so you need to go back, Sky Castle, fix that glitch. Go back, fix Vikings, fix Last Day on Earth, fix Calm Mind 3, okay? So you can get the, the platinum. Fix them. Fix them. That's it. What's the problem? Like, if you don't know how to fix it, contact Sony and I mean, look at the leaderboards. Look at the look at the forums. Everybody's posting that you guys are not fixing anything. You don't care. So if you do care, show us you care and fix the games. Just imagine all these people angry at you. Imagine somebody getting a hundred percent completion. They play your game, right? And of course, you can't delete trophies, right? So they play your game, and your game is broken, and they can't complete the game. So now, because of you. Not their efforts, but because of you, they will never get 100% in their entire fucking life until you fix that fucking thing. That's not good. That's a bad thing. You're causing a massive problem with that. People will hate you. Hate you. They will hate you. That's not good. These people, like, some people are, like, really in competition. They work hard. They're spending money. They're buying the games. They're trying to platinum everything. And you're just screwing that up. You're not even caring that. You know, at least put something out there. This game will be fixed by September 2023 or whatever. Give us hope or do whatever. Like, partner with Sony. Like, this is not good. We need these games fixed. I mean, what is it going to take for you to fix the games? Is it going to take that 
cu- that your customers are going to all team up together. Well, I know what's probably happened. And it's like what all of us did. We didn't buy this game. Okay. And the sales of the airy went in the goddamn fucking toilet. So when this went marked down like 50%, that's when I bought this. And then you decided to release like how many fucking more? Like, you know, and I'm not saying this game is, is stopping you from getting the platinum. There are glitches. Don't get me wrong in this game. But nothing that's stopping you from getting the platinum that I see in these two versions. It's just you have to reset it. Okay, you get stuck. But the other games, the other games are missing a fucking level, dudes and dudettes. They're missing fucking levels. So you got to go back in there. I don't care. You got to. And and if you don't fix it, Sony should not. I'm, I don't mean to be harsh, but this is a business, okay? This is a business, and you got to treat it like a business. You're all adults. You're not babies, okay? These people are spending their money buying your game, and you got to honor your customers, okay? you got to deliver the product that you promised, a game with trophies and platinum, right? And if you can't do that, then you need to either refund them or you need to do it somehow. Somehow you got to do it. Somehow you got to do it. And it's just, oh, here we go. Don't get fucking, don't get stupid now. You got to go back and you got to fix those games. And honestly, if you don't, the customers should team up and you should not be able to release a game ever again unless you make a commitment and a promise to the customers that they you will fix the problem that you created and they will be able to get their platinums. Sorry. They got to be able to get their platinums. That's what we'll buy the game for, for the trophies and the platinums. Yeah, to enjoy the game too, but you know what? How are you enjoying the game if, if your game is broken? And how could this happen multiple times? And then you're still disrespecting everybody, put, put games out. Like future airy sequels. Like, that's fucked up. You just say, ah, fuck it. They're suckers. You know, because some people, they just want to get the Platinums. You know, they're, they're in competition. They, they want to just buy everything, right? So you think, oh, they don't give a fuck. No, people do care. It's like, you really need to fix it, honestly. It's not cool, man. Not cool. It's not cool that you did that. So go back to Vikings. Go back to Last Last Man on Earth. Go back to freaking Calm Mind Three. Calm Mind Three, and then the original problem of Sky Castle, and fix those four versions. And and and, and look at it on the leaderboards. There should be somebody to make a video about this. And look at all the people complaining about your company on the leaderboards that you're not honorable do you want that on your record no of course not do the right thing and fix it that's all fix it i don't understand i used to run a district i used to be district manager like there was a problem we identified it we got rid of the problem like get rid of the problem fix the game games fix them that's it what are you going to do? It's not rocket science. Fix the airy games that are broken. So you're now, I'm not getting the platinum. Now this is, this is where this is bullshit. I played this game. What am I missing from this trophy list? One, two, three. I played for an hour. I got a video and it says an hour and six minutes. I played for an hour. I have a video with an hour and six minutes. <laughs> How could you say I didn't play for an hour? <clears throat> Come on. Come on, bro. You gotta be kidding me. I played for an hour. So ridiculous. Play for an hour and six minutes. You're not going to give me the trophy for playing for an hour? It's ridiculous. Finally, after a relentless search. Got to play over. That's a stupid trophy link. now, honestly. A magical place 
filled That's with a all stupid sorts trophy. of weird energies. It should be accumulative. The little bird knew this was the right place. It should be accumulative. There's, you, you fucking, don't tell me to play this for now. I played it all day, bro. Both versions. Come on. Come on, bro. I should have that platinum. You give me a, a trophy that I, I got to play in an hour, bro. Come on. I played it way more than an hour. Accumulative. Come on, man. Not going to give me the platinum because you said I didn't play for an hour. Bullshit. Bullshit, bro. The timestamp on the fucking video says an hour and six minutes. Where's the fucking trophy? Very disappointing. So I'm gonna go. I was gonna play the next game. I was gonna go right into the next airy game. Now I can't fucking do that because I gotta fucking jerk around with this shit for an hour. Oh, look at me! I'm gonna fly around. Woo! For an hour. Look at me! I'm a motherfucking bird. I'm a bird, and I gotta fly around. And for some reason, these feathers that are not mine are suspended in the air, glowing and shit. Why is that? I don't fucking know. I'm a bird. I don't care. And what what happens when I get these feathers? Absolutely nothing. It's just pointless. Oh. And and why are these colors all weird? Yeah, because they want you to go colorblind. Because they were fucking blind itself. Look at this shit. Uh, developer, I think I made the color palette, uh, too bright. Nah, it's alright, just put the game out, alright? Yeah. We need seven airy games out in three months, okay? Let's go, people. But, sir, the game is not finished, and, uh, we forgot to put- Fuck it! Put the shit out there, fuck them. I mean, is that what you guys do? Just put shit out? To make money, and then, oh, fuck it, some people will buy it? Fuck the games that are broken, right? Fuck it. We got airy flow of time. Didn't we put journey through time? That doesn't fuck about it. Put that shit out. It doesn't matter. Put the shit out. It doesn't matter. But we already had an airy game of time. I uh, don't give a shit. Put it up. You could call it airy ham sandwich. They'll buy it. These trophy hunters. They'll buy anything. They'll buy jumping fucking fries and jumping fucking tacos and shit. Fuck these trophy hunters, right? That's what you say? Shit. Tell me I didn't play this for an hour. My asshole. My asshole, I didn't play this for an hour. I'm a bird flying around with shitty colors, chains attached to some fucking building, building lighthouse that makes no sense. This is just stupid. Gotta tell you, I do not like the lighting in here. I did not know I'm that bold. My God. That's gonna give me a complex tomorrow. You don't have hair, Matrix Lord. Look, I saw. Shut up. Bloop. Bloop. So, what's happening in the sequel to Aerie? Well, Aerie's a different color. And, um, he's flying around and he's getting feathers. Doesn't he always get feathers? Yes, but he's getting feathers with a... The screen is so bright you can't see shit. Isn't that like all the games? Well, this one's even more than usual. Oh, okay. Jesus. Jesus. I definitely look bald. My God. I need some money. Donate to my PayPal so I can buy some hair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But I do have a PayPal, though. And if you would like to make a donation, I will buy more games than usual. How about that? It was nice to get this camera today. And I got a nice $20 off. In GameStop with my rewards points that they finally gave me back. That I was making videos complaining about it. $26 donation, that's right. That would be nice. Yeah. I need tons of money. Let's see if this streaming stuff brings me money. 
I was actually going to put the donut lesson on hiatus. So if you want me to start shoving donuts in my face again, you want to donate some money? Go ahead. I'll reinstate the donut lesson. I remember the last time I was trying to stop the donut lesson, people paid me $500. I'm like, wow. That was cool. That's cool. $500 to eat donuts. That's cool. So, this... Okay. I was trying to think of a witty comeback. You don't have to get a second job to fund the donut lesson. It's okay. Donut lessons on hiatus, okay? Season ended, season six, right? And right now we don't know if it's coming back. We don't know if it's going to make it to the new season premiere, fall season, okay? Starting in September. We don't know if the donut lessons is coming back. We don't know. You know, the Matrix Lord 2 and 2 Network might cancel it. We don't know. We might have new shows. Don't know. Or might be brought back in mid-season. Or half a season. We don't know. Oh. Oh, there we go. Crack his head into the wall and then you go... I really don't want you to get a second child. <laughs> I was just joking. You don't have to do it to for eating donuts. It's okay. I'm more fascinated with why I look bald in this. Is it just the lighting? Sharon? Oh, she's watching TV. Oh. Okay. This is... Str this. I mean, I look orange, right? Sweets! Sweets! She don't hear me. Ah! Everybody has bad lighting, right? Yeah. wonder if I shut the light. One of the lights, maybe. But then it's going to get too dark in here. Maybe. At least I got a camera. That's, you know what? I did it finally. So, it, like I said, I got $20 off in GameStop Rewards. So it cost me like 43 and change, I think. Not bad. So to get this trophy, I just got to fucking fly around for an hour, which is ridiculous. Because I beat the whole fucking game, so. Look at me, I'm flying around. I'm airy. I'm airy. What a stupid trophy you created. Chains that lead to nowhere. What unfinished graphics is this? Oh, my God. What do you think, Kate? Uh, is it too bright? And it's the game. It's not that it cu it's actually the game is made this way. Don't you think they made this too fucking bright? I think so. The game is way too fucking bright. I don't know why this trophy didn't pop if I played this for an hour and six minutes. You gotta play for an hour. Thank you so much. I thank you. Way too fucking bright. It's on it's in fucking sane. These guys when I contacted them, they tried to make it like they sent me a message in German, like that was gonna stop me from communicating with them. And I got the translator and I wrote them a whole email and I translated it in German. I sent it to them. <laughs> They're like, oh shit! <laughs> we gotta answer this motherfucker. <laughs> We're working on the problem, sir. Um, it takes some time, and um, we will be getting on that shortly. And then months and months later, I send a message it didn't take again. Too long to find the young mage, and after the bird explained this voiceover what happened, is terrible. the young mage agreed to fight the dragon. The young Jesus. mage used a teleport spell and, in an instance, 
they were back in the small village God. and the battle between the dragon and the mage began. I hit the sound to shut it off and the voice too and it's still talking this guy I don't know if you could hear it I could hear it though I did this board already I just gotta fly around for an hour what kind of shit is this Oh shit, I cracked my head into a tree. Hmm, boring. So anyway, the next game is Airy Heaven and Hell and Airy Flow of Time. And I think in a couple of days, Airy Calm Mind 4 will be released, which, again, don't release a game called Calm Mind if it doesn't make you calm. Because if it makes you fucking crazy and upset because your game is glitchy as fuck, then that's a false advertisement. Okay, just put it out there. So, but I do, I don't know, I, I do love these games, even though it fucking drives me nuts sometimes, but to me it's relaxing, I guess. If, if things work, it's relaxing. If it don't work, it's not relaxing, but... Like being a bird flying around, woo! I'm a bird! I'm airy! Airy! Airy's got tons of games out there. Aerie's, I think Airy's got more games out than Mario, maybe, right? Or am I wrong about that? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I mean, if you count all the fucking crazy shit, then probably not, but... Aerie's got a lot of games out, though. I saw... I just put... I put the Sonic game in and play it. And then there's another Sonic game coming out, too. And I'm like, what the fuck? Sonic Superstars or some shit? And I, try, I had to fix the, the memory problem because... It's the probably reason why I can't play these fucking games is because... They have too much memory, and I'm like, oh, now they sit in the shoebox for fucking months. So with PS4, I had to delete everything. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't realize it. Like, Dr. Mario, and Mario RPG, and Paper Mario, and Mario Kart, and Mario Tennis, and Mario fucking Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, this fucking... Yeah, yeah, but there's a lot of airy games though too. Not Mario has, I was wrong, but Mario does have way more. But it's just uh, airy is just they come out with I don't know how many a year. It's ridiculous now. They literally, like I said, they were literally released two or three games in a week, like last week. And I'm like, wait a minute, fix the games that are broken. I think we're going to do a podcast about it. Maybe we should do a podcast about... Like, I'll, I'll, I'll want to see if anybody could play these games if you own them. And then we'll talk about why it's broken and are they going to fix it or what, like, in detail. Yes, I did see that. Interesting. That is interesting. I'll probably buy that, of course. I want to buy the new Sonic screwdriver, but I don't want to get ripped off. Like, I want it to be the actual 14th Doctor Sonic screwdriver, but I don't want it to be paying, like, like I want it to actually be the actual one. I got to find out if I know anybody who actually got it, and then where I can get it, because I want to have it before we do the Real Wings cast for the anniversary. So I can start, like, having it on the air. Mm. So I heard that uh, Donna Noble's daughter is going to be returning as the companion, as a companion, I guess, on the new season. That's interesting. I was playing a game, Kate, uh, called Mia and the Dragon Princess, and the villain was Paul McGann. And you could see it on my live stream, and I'm like, oh, shit! I was, like, so happy, right? He's so good. Like, he was so good as a villain. 
and he had a henchman called the battle took three days and three nights hold until on the dragon this guy's talking fighting and tired i can't hear anything fire, finally gave up left the village and swore to never return the village was saved and soon after the villagers rebuilt their beloved home and had a great feast in the honor of the young mage and his yes. new best friend and assistant the little bird so he had a character in there a henchman called the doc and the guy kind of looked like David Tennant, and it was hysterical how, like, the, the dragon princess, like, was, you know, she knows how kung fu and everything, and she's battling him, and he knew kung fu. And they did, took a page from, like, Indiana Jones, and the girl Mia just shot him to death to get him out of the fucking way. It was, it was fucking hysterical. And Paul McGann's like, he didn't want, like, a bitch in the, in the, in the interview process. <laughs> He's so funny, screaming and shit. He was great. He's fucking great. I remember seeing a movie with, with Sylvester McCoy, right? Years ago. And it was a B movie where they had like, these women with big boobs and guns and these other guys that looked like, like these guys with guns with muscles. And he was like the drug overlord, little Sylvester McCoy. And he's like screaming at these people to go get them and shit and shoot them and when there was explosions, he's like running around screaming. And it was the most funniest fucking shit I've ever seen. Hysterical. Sylvester McCoy, I was like, oh, I, I, I wish I wouldn't remember what the name was. It was so fucking funny. And I'm like, oh, he's great. He's fucking great. And I fucking was trying to find out what movie that was that he was in. It was so fucking funny. But got me thinking with the Paul McGann stuff that... They should do because the, they should do a Doctor Who game interactive like that with making choices and shit. And it should be a doctor, not necessarily like the current doctor. You could do like a Joe Martin interactive thing by Russell T. Davis, or you could do a fucking Matt Smith and Karen Gill and, you know, Eleventh Doctor comes back or some shit or whatever. You do an interactive game like that. I know they'll save it for the big shit which i really have a feeling that matt smith's gonna come back as like a uh 16 doctor or something and they're gonna get karen gillen because she said like she's willing and so is off the Darvel. so being that moffat's on the fucking payroll again supposedly it's like let's fucking go backwards again man let's 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 fucking do it let's fucking save the fucking ponds Let's throw fucking Missy in there or somebody. Let's go. Or maybe we can get Toby Jones and you can find out that he's actually a master. That would be good. The Dream Lord. That'd be great. I fucking love Toby Jones. I always felt like he was after Sim. Like transitioning into Missy kind of because he kind of was trying to help the... Uh, it wasn't really Pollen because Pollen wouldn't be able to control the TARDIS. It was him actually in physical form controlling the TARDIS, if you remember. So I always felt like that was like um, he was transitioning from changing identity from a master to a dream lord to like maybe Missy. Like that that would have been, you know, be, that would have been an intellectual way to get around that. But now I'm hearing Sasha Dewan's coming back, too. That's crazy, fighting somebody. I don't know if he's going to fight David Tanner or if he's going to fight fucking Shooty Gatwa. So that's interesting. And then, of course, Michelle Gomez is best friends with Moffat, so there's a fucking massive possibility that she'll be back in Doctor Who as Missy. Massive possibility. It would be interesting if, like, you know how, like, she, when she dies, she goes right back into the nether sphere and a new body's created? Because they even said that in one of the Doctor Who episodes, like, the, under, the beast below, or not the beast below, the under the lake or before the flood. And he said that Missy could create bodies or something, whatever. So would it be funny if her consciousness left that dying body, right? Goes into a new body, but... On that place where the body is, the body begins to regenerate, right? So technically, you would have two masters literally running around. 
And both of them technically would be real. But like I guess you know that would that would be interesting. That would be like um you know I don't know. It would be interesting. Because, you know, maybe she did plan ahead and did remember that he shoots her. And then she took precautions, just like she remembered that he fucked up the, his TARDIS and needed to fucking despair, you know? So maybe she planned ahead for that. That would be good. And then she lives on and she becomes Sasha Dewan, but... I honestly believe she does become Sasha the One, but he's a fuck crazy fucker. Oh, I'm stuck now. Oh, come on. Here's another glitch. Thank you very much. But I can't stop playing because I can't get the trophy. Oh, come on, get, get out of this. Stop. Could you fucking stop? I, I don't want to get stuck here. Come on, man. I don't want to be crashing for an hour. Like, I got to get this trophy to get the platinum. So, I can't shut you off. Alright, I could shut off the fucking sound effect. Because that's annoying now. And you could just crash for fucking an hour. Because... That's fucking stupid. Okay. Back. Alright, so just crash for an hour so I get the goddamn fucking trophy and I can talk to my audience. So, this is one of what I've been talking about. This is Epic R Games Glitch Fucking City. And... This is what happens when you sometimes crash into the ground. You're fucked. And you just got to reset the whole fucking game because you can't do shit. And this will go on forever until this is their fucking glitches. Unknown knows about their glitches. This is their fucking glitches. And every single time I play today, this is their fucking glitches. Look at this shit. So. Right. There's my Matrix Lord 212 mug. Look at that. Yeah. So being that I beat this game, there's a stupid trophy in here that you got to play this for an hour. Now, I did play this for over an hour. I played this for an hour and six minutes. And I know. And they didn't give me the trophy or the platinum. So now I got to do this again. I just got to crash i guess for fucking an hour talk to you guys uh let this fucking bird crack its head open like fucking 20 million times and then i'll get the platinum trophy um but again this is a reason against this company because they get make these games and they're not checking it and it's fucked up and it's so funny that how many live streams did i do today where my face obviously wasn't showing but I did all these these live streams about this game and every just about every single pl live stream I did today there's a fucking glitch like this and it's terrible. Can't get out of it. I'm trying to fly away. Can't. Trying to fly down, trying to fly up. Almost got out of there. Almost. Almost got out of it that time. Jesus. Why do you make games like with these glitches? I don't understand. Like, why can't they just fix the fucking games, right? This is fucked. Dates on my list. Oh, okay. So, 
because I got so mad with this game, I left the house and I went out and I want to buy the camera, obviously. Um, but there was there was a list of reaching the 49th hundredth platinum. But technically, I didn't need to make the list because there are four Sable Grimoire human and elf that I platinum that you can't see. So as soon as, if tomorrow they snap in, then I have my 4,900th platinum. The only thing I worry about is I won't be able to show that it's 4,900 platinums. So I'm worried that I'll be getting these these kings now, and then all of a sudden tomorrow we'll just skip past 4,900. And, you know, for the sake of the video, I want to show 4,900 platinums. But there are four that I just beat, and they just, they fucked up my PlayStation 4. Because I try to use both. I try to use PS5 and PS4 so I don't use up all the memory. So I have to delete the whole entire fucking thing, then recreate it, and then every single one of those games on PS4 that weren't finished, wiped clean. Oh, it fixed it now? Oh, right now it's fixed? Is it? Oh, who updated? Nobody updated my thing. Oh, yeah, technically, yeah, it would be the zoo thing. It would be, would be, you'd be correct. Okay, I, I, sometimes somebody, people were updating my shit, remember? Without me knowing it, and I'd, and I'd be like, oh, okay, boom, there it is. This is a stupid trophy. Playing for an hour. I, I, I'm, I did a live stream and it's time fucking stamped. And I'm playing it for an hour and six minutes. And the trophy is to play this for a fucking hour. And it does, as long as the game's on, it doesn't matter. And like, they didn't give me the fucking trophy. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Give me the fucking trophy. This bird is fucking... Can't even get out of this. This is terrible. Oh, almost got out of it. I know, like a cumulative, right? The fuck. Oh shit, look at that. I fucking did it. Ha! Look at that shit. How the fuck did I come to do that? Jesus. That skills right there. Okay? I'm sorry, you gotta give it to me. That that should get a goddamn trophy in itself. Here's a trophy for breaking the glitch. Well, you can see it. It's streamed. I'm streaming this. You see this, right? I broke the glitch. You go, Airy. You go. Matrix Lord 2 and 2 broke your glitch. Give me the platinum, yo. I beat the other one. Um, is it released now, though? Because it was just sitting in there with no players. Did they actually release it? Oh, and you know, it's a funny thing. I actually reached out to them and told them that that was my one of my favorite games they ever made and that that needs to be sequels. I actually told them that. I said, you need to make sequels to Mr. Hibble, or whatever the fuck, the way you pronounce it. I was like, because that's a fucking great fucking shit there. That's a great franchise. I fucking love that shit. So, 
you know, I'm not saying maybe they did have plans to do more and they just, you know, being nice. But I did give my two cents about that. I, li- I like it, Mr. Hibble. I don't know. I, I, some about that game, I really enjoyed it. So, I don't know why I like it. I just, I do. Um, yeah, I miss those two. It's so weird, though. They're all fucking finding loopholes to fucking put shit out, and Sony's just letting them. So, like, you know, now we had... I was very happy to see Sushi uh, break. Instead of a Sushi Break 3, there was Sushi Blast, and it was like... I told them they should do a running game, but the opposite direction. So I'm glad they fuck they did that. But I told them they could do a break game too. Just do it in the opposite direction also. You know? That's what I said. There's ways around it. I said that. But now everybody seems to have exhausted all their ways around shit, I guess. Because the quiz games got banned, right? So they're not able to make... They're not able to complete their set. All the games they were going to fucking put out. So they're fucking done. But now they got things, sometimes they block you from seeing the fucking games. You gotta, like, search it. Or you gotta go on the computer and you gotta look it up. Because they don't want it showing up in the store at all. They don't want nobody seeing that. They're so embarrassed by it. It's like, but then, if you're embarrassed, you're blocking people from buying it so that you're costing yourself sales, no? Sony? I mean, like, honestly, that's what you, you know. Are you that big that you don't need sales? You're like, I don't need sales today, thank you. That never happened. Yeah, they're not, it's not coming out anymore either. They're done. I mean, I don't know if they're done. I, I think they're just trying to regroup now and just figure out how the fuck they're going to. Because I know Sony's pretty pissed off at them. So they got to just put out some fucking shit. And, and hopefully Sony allows it to be out. You know? Really? They don't sell that much? Like, what do you mean? Everybody, but isn't all the gamers buying shit? Oh, you know what I realized? We, were, You and I were having this conversation, right? Unknown? Fucking Akum has not got a fucking platinum in, like, months. His star count is the same as it's been months ago. Because I remember doing a thumbnail in comparison of my platinums to his. And how many I needed to tie him. And he has not changed. I honestly think you're right. I think he gave up. Once he lost the world title. He fed up. Like I think really mostly retirement. Like he just. I think he gave up. Completely. Now will he wake up when I get close? I don't know unknown. Maybe. Maybe he not might not want to lose his number one title. I think. That's when he'll come back. I'm sure. Well, when I get when I get to be number two, he's probably gonna then start fucking. He won't come back. What is he doing? I like to know what the fuck he's doing. He hasn't really moved either, though. He's going to be hard. I heard he's a beast. Right? Why not? So he's on the leaderboards, you're not. Oh. Okay. Why not? Oh, because he got banned twice, right? Didn't he get banned twice? One more time, he's done. All I know is one more time, he's done, right? I think. Gotta say, it's been an enjoyable vacation. Oh, he didn't get banned. Okay. Are you sure? I thought he got banned once. You sure? 
He appealed it, didn't he? I remember seeing something about that. He just, yes, he did. No, but there was one time they took him off. I remember, and he made a big stink about that because he tweeted and shit. Oh no, maybe I'm thinking someone else, not him. My apologies. No, when he beat Akum, I sent him congratulations, and he answered me back. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, when he beat Akum, I congratulated him that time. So, and then they had people making videos. The king was dethroned and shit, which I guess Akum didn't like. But it seems like everybody in the top above us, that some most of them are just dormant. They're not doing shit. They're just sleeping, right? Only when you get close, they start moving around, right? Because the guys that, the, the person that's ahead that me and Raining Elbows are going after, that person really hasn't moved either. GSV or whatever his name is. You know? He's just been, he hasn't been really going crazy getting Platinums. Like, they, they've been there for so long, they're just like thinking they're unstoppable and they're just chilling. Okay. Sorry, my apologies. So what, is he just hurt? Like he's upset that he got beat? And he's just not playing anymore? He just quit. Did he make a video saying he was quitting or he just fucking didn't say shit? I mean, we don't know. It's true. Like, you don't know. No, but he can't because he's, he did he did play something the other... Um, he just played something on the 20th, I think. But just playing around, not like getting trying to get Platinums or anything. It was just... Unless somebody's playing under his account. Could be his kids. Who knows? I'm not trying to say that people playing on their account, but right, that's what I'm saying. Like there was some t somebody played something on his account on the twentieth, I think. So the account technically is active, even though there's like hardly anything going on with it. So, but you know, like I said, I I think he's got children, but I don't know. If, I think his children are. I don't know. Could have been like one of the kids playing under his account. He didn't know. He's like, oh, shit. Why isn't this trophy popping? What the fuck is going on here? It could be. I mean, this gets crazy sometimes when we're playing. And, and then it, I got to say, it was very frustrating when I got eight Platinums. And nothing counted. You you realize how pissed I was? Um, unknown. Like, I got the fucking four Grim things. that Nobody even knew that was out, and I bought it. And then I got the four other ones, Embraced, because Liam told me about Embraced by Autumn. So I bought that shit right away. And I had eight besides the shit that I was doing. And I was so fucking miserable, because that would have... These things, like, you know, we, 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 people don't understand, like, sometimes you think all oh, the Matrix load only got five. A lot of times these fucking trophies don't pop, and it's just sitting there for a fucking week. And we got a lot more Platinums than you think. And it's just fucking terrible. Like, I, I was so upset. I mean, shit like that happens, or today with the Lost Hero, and it's fucking not working right. I'd say, I'm getting the fuck out of the house. I'm going to take my walk. I'm going to fucking, you know, I'm not spending money, but like I got out of the fucking house. I was done. I was pissed. Very frustrating, you know? Frustrating. I, I was telling Unknown the other day. I was playing this and it kept getting fucking fucked up on the fourth board. And I was like, fuck this. For hours I was playing this shit. And then I'm like, all this time I was playing this, because you know when you get into a groove and you want to play the game and finish it. So, like, I, I could have been playing other games and just jumped the ranks faster. And I'm like, no, I was just... 
I know, bro. I know. I'm so I I didn't buy it because it's so fucking cringe fucked. I was like, fuck that. I remember to get I remember to get the platinum. There was one trophy. You had to watch the guy. I don't know if it's that game or another one. You had to watch the guy wash his dog in the shower for like 20 fucking minutes. And it was the most cringe fucking thing. And I, I don't mean to bash, but they, they commented to me too. They fucking love it that I was bashing. They didn't give a fuck because I bought the game. I'm playing. I'm giving them attention. But like 20 minutes, the guy washing his fucking dog. Like for real. Like just the video of him washing his dog. And I'm like, fuck that. I don't know if that was um, buy this game or I'll shoot. Sleuth Man or whatever the fuck they, they, whatever game it was. Probably that's what it was. He was washing his dog for 20 minutes. But they're so cringe. I was like, ever since the uh, with that thing, the un something journey or something, and then it, it's Fart Man. John Fart is fucking... It's just so... Sasha Wan Sauce, that's another one. I mean, you gotta give it to them because we bought the games. You know, they're making money. They're happy. They're paying for their nice house and shit, you know? Could be the shittiest fucking game, but people buying it. And you know what? You gotta give it to them. I'm giving it to them, but I gotta be in the mood to play that. Like, that is not something I hate. It's it's cringe. You know? I So, but... but that, that I'll tolerate eventually. Here and there. But. Pff, shit. Alright. What's going on with this trophy? Why isn't this popping? I've been playing this for an hour, no? Anybody keeping track? Guys? This has got to be an hour. I'm flying around here. And it's not giving me a goddamn fucking platinum at all. What the fuck is going on? How long is this live stream unknown? Do you know? It's not giving me the it's not giving me the platinum. What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay, four minutes. Good. So let's see. Yeah, I know. I actually bought the other one, I told you, right? I bought I bought Airy Heaven and Hell. Because I wasn't going to start dropping hundreds on Aerie. So I bought that one. And this one. I was like, let me finish Heaven and Hell first. And then I'll buy the flow of time. Oh, I didn't tell you that? Well, that's the thing. is I beat this game already. And now this is the EU version. So this would be the second Aerie Platinum of the day. The same game. Lost Hero you know, North America region and EU region. This is the EU, I believe. So, I bought Airy Heaven and Hell, and I only bought it for, I think, Europe, because I had money on the Europe card, not American version. And then I was going to do that, and then the thing that sucks is the, the Heaven and Hell was nine ninety nine, but airy flow of time is $14.99 $14.99 you got a big ass company like what the fuck why is that airy more special than the other ones that you got to charge an additional fucking almost $5 for the, for the same fucking come on man why is that more money I don't think I even told you I know but I, I was I bought their other games and I was surprised that there was no platinum when I was playing it. Like, I found out after I was playing the paper one. Like, you, they, they're like, oh, the only thing that could stop the balloons is a paper airplane. Like, wow, again, with these plots are amazing, right? So I was like, uh, but I was actually enjoying it. And then I'm like, wait a minute. There's no fucking platinum. <laughs> and you know how I feel, I know, right, about no fucking platinums. I fucking try to avoid that shit at, at all costs most of the time. Sometimes I'm bored and I'm like, all right, I need just trophies extra. But most of the time, 
I'm not buying a game if there's no platinum. I'm just staying away from that shit. So I was not happy. Because I had that on the PS4, but of course I couldn't play it. I actually was playing it, right? And I thought that the thing fixed itself. So I, I was about to get the first trophy and the fucking thing shut off. So then all record of that trophy got erased. So then I had to delete everything. I had to delete my account and everything and then recreate it. And I had to do it again because it didn't count. And I'm like, fuck. So what happens is when you... I got blood, blood sure. I platinum it. What are you saying? I'm missing one? I thought I platinum it twice. No? Just once? I got to look into that. Really? Oh. You know what? Let the bird crash for fucking five minutes. What are my gaming snacks? Uh, on my table right now? Alright. Um, I have Pringles on my table. I have the Hostess. Oh, no, not Hostess. I'm sorry. No, not Hostess. Entenmann's, uh, the Cupcake Baker's Delights. Um, I have, yeah, that's a platinum. Wait, wait. I love that sound. All right. I have Hershey's. Um, uh, I have a Gatorade. Oh, I dropped the controller. Shit, sorry. I have the orange Gatorade for hydration. I have Ritz crackers. I have um, Lifesaver gummies. Another two. Why are there two things of Pringles over here? Graham crackers. Try to keep them in baggies and stuff. And uh, some M&M's. I have um, put them in a baggie, M&M's. And uh, Lifesavers. And because acid reflux, I got tubs on my friggin' thing. Too. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, and I got saltines here. Jesus Christ. In a baggie, I got my saltines. So, um, yeah, that's... Oh, and I, I got a... Okay, so I got a Coke. I'm almost done with that one. And I got a... Snapple. And I'm drinking my coffee. I have still the Nantucket blend. All right, my microphone's in the way. So, hold on. What about this? Okay. So, let's see. Ready for another live stream? I wish I could just continue. Is there a way to just continue to go from this one into... No, right? You need a fucking computer, right? Unknown? You need a computer, right? To just play the next game, but just stay in the live stream? Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, I need a computer. All right, so I'm going to get off here. Um, I'm going to update the trophy list and go to the bathroom and then I'm going to come back and try this new fucking airy game out and that's it and everybody please rejoin me in less than a few minutes all right take care bye for now oh wait no wait I can't leave yet this is uh platinum number 4897 okay let me not leave here first. Let me just update this. One second. Stay here. <clears throat> okay. So, let's... Let me just update this. Yeah, yeah I wish, but it, 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 it didn't count the, the Sable's Grimoire yet, you know? So, I can't count it myself. That's it sucks. Oh, I just I just doing a, Are you flying on your own? 
shit. Oh, you yeah. okay. This bird's flying on his own. Why does Aerie look different, though, the last two games? Or game? I thought Aerie was a different color bird. Can we update the trophy list, please? Today? Did anybody play a new Street Fighter? No? Oh, PlayStation profiles. Come on, man. Update. Let's see. Okay. Platinum number, yes, 4,897. Sables Grimoire did not update yet. They still didn't put the trophy list up for that? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. What game is this? The Bridge Curse Road to Salvation. That's new. I didn't see that unknown. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we could play that. Maybe we can give Ari a break. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you guys for everything. Please like, subscribe, leave your comments down below, share everywhere. I need over 1,500 subscribers on the gaming channel. Um, this is not monetized, but I need it to be. I mean, I could put everything on my main channel, but I want to build up this channel. So I want to build it up so I can monetize this channel for the gaming and stuff. So, um Oh, I'm sorry. 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, OneNote. 1,000 subscribers I need um, for this channel. All right. I'll be back. Take care. Bye for now.